Bradley, huge congratulations. You sit there, the PDC World Youth Champion. It's got a ring to it. How are you feeling after that? And what's the feeling like to be a world champion? Uh, it's amazing, really. I'm really happy to win the trophy. If you look at the players who've won it previously, uh, they were all world-class players, even the people who've lost, who've lost in the final. So, not too happy with the way I played. But in the end, I showed the bottle to get over the line. I'm really happy in the end. Was there a lot of nerves up on that stage with everything that was on the line, not just the title? To be fair, I don't think it was nerves. I think it was more trying to hold. Uh, I feel it wasn't. I don't think it was trying too hard to win the title. I think it was more trying too hard to impress people who was watching. Which, for starters, that's the wrong thing to do when you when you're playing. That's you should be doing your own thing, which was wrong. But uh, luckily, I got away with it in the end. So uh, I'm happy with that. But yeah, I feel like it was trying too hard. The springboard that this title has given other players. Are you hoping it has the same effect with you? Yeah, hundred percent. Obviously, now I qualify for the world, so I don't have to turn up tomorrow for the qualifiers, which is a Massive relief, uh, and I've got two weeks to just over two weeks to prepare myself ready. Uh, yeah, hopefully, it can push me further. Uh, I feel like I've been on the tour long enough now. Um, I, even though I'm only young, I feel like I've I know the ropes now. I need to start producing on tour. So yeah, hopefully, this is a push in the right direction for me. Touching on the world, when we spoke the other day, you said if you didn't make the world championships, it was a terrible year. Now, is this the ice on the cake, and is it now officially a good year for Bradley Brooks? Yeah, I feel, I feel like now I qualify for the world. If you you first year on tour, obviously, uh, when you get your tour card, if you qualify for the world, you feel like you've got to count that as a good year. So, uh, regardless of what I've played on the floor, I'm at the world now. So, yeah, I class this as a good year now, first time at the world. And just going back to the game, obviously, mid, mid game, you missed six to go 5 3. Did you think I'd blown it at that point? Oh, I, uh, when I missed the doubles, obviously. It left me with the throw to go five apiece. Uh, you, when I, usually it gets to me and I start winding myself up and then that's when I start snatching and trying to up, like really try uh, too hard. So uh, just as myself, calm down, uh, just get this leg under the belt and then obviously everyone's watched games last leg. Anything can happen last leg. So obviously I think I won the leg in 13. Uh, and then last leg, it was a bit of a scruffy leg, but in the end I got over the line. Bradley, congratulations, mate. All the very best. Enjoy the night. Yes, Phil. Thank you. Hi, Bradley. Um, congratulations on becoming world champion, world youth champion. Um, how will you celebrate tonight? I will probably go back to the hotel room with uh, FaceTime the family on a group call and probably have a couple of beers with them, obviously, because it can't be here due to the COVID and everything. So, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing outrageous. Probably have a nice pizza and a couple of beers and then when I go home tomorrow night, uh, go back on the practice board, really. That's probably what I'm going to do. I think the most striking thing for me is how level-headed you are, how much you take this in your stride. There was no running across the stage, no leaping about. Is this Was this just for you a matter of getting a job done and getting that in the bag? Because it was more the worry of not winning it almost. Uh, yeah, it was like the first thing I said, get over the line, get the job done, and then come back and then prepare for the Worlds. But... Uh, Obviously, I don't want to come across big edited in this fight, but because the way I was practicing and the way I was practicing today before obviously we played, I felt really, really good. Uh, and I felt a million dollars. And obviously, when I got on the stage, uh, many people could probably have, have this experience. It just weren't really going for me. When I, when I hit that double top to win, I did want to jump around the stage, but uh, I have to be respectful for Joe because it was in. in if I was, it was the other way around and we both know we didn't play well and both of us could have won it, I'd want the same respect. So that's the reason why I didn't jump around and stuff like that. It's very apparent on social media that uh, the Aspinalls are close to you. There's a lot of lot of people who wish you well and, and congratulations. Is anyone who's particularly mentoring you who's, or sort of, or you're particularly happy with the, the help they've given you? Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, before Mike Dubridge uh, lost his tour card, Mike Dubridge... Uh, Probably at the time, I, it wasn't really, like, I weren't really taking it in as much. But more I play now, the more I realise what Mark Dubbridge was telling me is 100% right. Uh, he's looked out well for me. Uh, I speak to Paul Nicholson a lot. He looks after me really well. And uh, I practice a lot on, uh, online on FaceTime with uh, Ross Smith. Uh, so Ross Smith practiced a week leading up to this event. So I can thank Ross for that as well, for keeping me occupied and the practice. So, yeah, there's quite a few people who... Uh, looks looks after me, Nathan as well looks after me. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few people who look after me on 
I'm grateful for that. Great stuff. Well, listen, congratulations and thanks for your time. Thank Cheers, you. Mate, thank you. Bradley, many congratulations on the win. Um, just tell us how much you're looking forward to your debut in the World Championship and the potential of playing in front of a crowd at Alexandra Palace. Yeah, uh, it's a massive thing for me. Obviously, I'm not as I, I'm old. Uh, when you uh, watch the darts, um, when I first won my tour card, the only thing I wanted to do was qualify for the world. It's the biggest tournament, and everyone wants to be there. So qualifying for that is a massive thing for me. Uh, I, I just can't wait to play, to be honest. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a bit different with the COVID. Obviously, hopefully, it'll be uh, crowds there. If not, it's the Peters who's all doing a great job uh, getting the event ahead. But yeah, I just can't wait to reel out. It can't come soon enough. You're in the same management stable as Michael Van Gogh and Simon Whitlock and a number of other top players. How good is that to have those level of players around you? Yeah, it's uh, really well, uh, really good for me. Uh, Jason looks after me very well. Uh, they all speak to me and look after me. Uh, I use the, uh, obviously I had a lot of problems when I was, when I first got on tour with bounce outs. Uh, Simon sorted me out with some Allen key points. He had them for a couple of years and he put a new set in for me ready for the final. So Simon's a, a diamond for doing that uh, and yeah all, all the players look after me very well and, they, and they're all really nice to me so I, I, I couldn't ask for anything better really. And, and beyond the world championship do you think this could be a, a big uh, platform for you to, to push on in your second year as a tour card holder now obviously you'll be in the Grand Slam as well next year? Yeah 100% I feel like if you want to keep your tour card if you're not performing as well as I am on the uh, if you're not performing on the floor the key to keeping your tour card if you're not performing is qualifying for the world's both years so I've done it this year uh, I want to see, hopefully I can do some damage at the world. Uh, and really, it's just, for me this year, it's more of a free run at the world. There's no pressure on me. Uh, I don't, I'm not defending anything. Uh, I'm not going there expecting this and that. So it's just really just have a, have a good go at it and see what I can do in the end. And any particular names you'd be looking out for in the draw on Thursday? Anyone you'd like to play or avoid? I ain't saying anything. <laughs>